Washington District Attorney, Democratic primary is less than three weeks away and the race is heating up. One of the top contenders for the job is Tali Farhadian, I'm sorry, Weinstein. Uh, a former federal prosecutor who immigrated to the United States from Iran as a child, Tali says she supports criminal justice reform but has been criticized by some on the left for her ties to Wall Street. She's here with me now to make her case. Tali, thanks so much for coming on tonight. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. All right, so let's just jump right in, right? Let's, um, let's talk about progressive prosecutors. You say that you are one, but your platform is definitely more moderate than some of the candidates that are running in the race, uh, like Tahani um, Abushi and, and Liza Orleans. Tell us what sets you apart and why you're, better, you're a better candidate for the job. Sure. Uh, so, you know, it's interesting because in this race that has largely been dominated by uh, ideas around criminal justice reform and how to make the criminal justice system more fair, more modern, uh, I am actually the only candidate who has ever worked on criminal justice reform in a district attorney's office. I was the general counsel of the Brooklyn DA's office, uh, which I think is widely regarded as the national model for exactly those words that you used, uh, progressive prosecution. And in fact, um, often as I listen to my colleagues in this race talk about the things that they want to do in Manhattan, uh, I hear them describing things that we already did in Brooklyn. Uh, so I think I have a real advantage in uh, not just having my heart in the right place and having a vision, but actually having done the hard work of reshaping local prosecution, dismantling parts of the office, building out new parts of the office, uh, in order to make sure that everything we do uh, is infused with progressive values. Now, I think that um, sometimes when I listen to my colleagues, they're just talking about being progressive and not talking about prosecuting. And that's probably where we part ways because, you know, I'm really proud to be a prosecutor. I think that um, making uh, our city more safe for everybody who lives in it uh, is an enormously important responsibility and privilege. And that safety is really the precondition of a good life, of opportunity, of freedom, uh, of the ability to thrive and to prosper. And I've always uh, held that conviction at the core of my career. Uh, Tally, now many of the candidates like Alvin Bragg and Tahani have talked about you know, their own lived experiences, making them especially qualified to serve as Manhattan's next DA. When asked about um, contacts with law enforcement, Alvin Bragg, for example, who's black, uh, pointed to the number of times he'd been stopped by police at gunpoint. Um, so how do you respond to people who might say that you might be out of touch with the realities of who gets, you know, primarily caught up in the criminal legal system? Mm -hmm. uh, well, so I'm so grateful to hear about um, other people's lived experiences um, and, you know, all each of us can bring is uh, ourselves. Uh, I, I can tell you my story um, as an American uh, because I've actually had lots of different experiences in this country of having less and having more. You know, I came here as a refugee from Iran, I actually landed in this country uh, on Christmas Eve of 1979. Well, that's a photograph of my uh, great grandmother uh, holding me as a baby. Uh, and we left during the revolution uh, because of the violence and the instability and the anti-Semitism just became impossible to live there. And I'm grateful that my parents had the courage to literally leave dirty dishes in the sink and come over here. And uh, you know, when we were first admitted into this country, we lived in one room on the LIE in Queens. Uh, my parents worked very hard incrementally to give us a better and better life. Uh, and at the same time to fight in the immigration system for citizenship. Uh, it took us about 10 years to make our asylum claim uh, with the help of pro bono lawyers. And I did not become an American citizen until I was a college student. Uh, and uh, all of that, uh, plus uh, the, the comforts that I have in my own life now, all are part of what I draw on to really fuel my conviction um, that to the, opportunity is so important. I know what it's like to be given an opportunity. I'm not better than the thousands of people who are turned away at our borders. Um, you know, 
all the time, uh, also like me, looking for a better life. Uh, and I really try to make my life's work about giving opportunity to others. And as I said at the outset, I think safety Tell is the precondition of opportunity. Tally, I'm trying to get in as many questions as I can. I know we're running out of time, but I wanted to ask you this question. Um, some 90% of the people who come through Manhattan's criminal court every day are people of color. Prosecutors are a driving force for mass incarceration. Given your long prosecutorial career, are you committed mm -hmm. to reducing incarceration? And what are your plans for addressing systemic racism within the system? Absolutely. And I don't think a day went by in Brooklyn where we did not think about both of those things, which are obviously deeply interrelated, Sh safely shrinking the criminal justice system and at the same time reckoning with being honest about and correcting for racial disparities. And I think that, you know, now we have the data, the capacity to really check ourselves and say, are we treating people differently, uh, whether they are defendants or victims? And I really want to emphasize that, you know, that second point. Uh, there are lots of studies that show that uh, when people of color are the victims of crime, uh, shamefully, prosecutors and police have not taken it as seriously as when white people are the victims of crime. So we have to look in every direction to say, what disparities are we perpetuating in these systems? Uh, and then, of course, correct. Uh, shrinkage is an important part of that, um, especially when there are so many charges that have been brought uh, almost exclusively sometimes against people of color with no public safety benefit. That was a big part of why uh, when I was working for DA Gonzalez, he made the decision to stop prosecuting misdemeanor marijuana possession, a charge that in Brooklyn uh, was disproportionately being brought in black and Latino communities and not elsewhere. Tali Farhardian Weinstein, candidate for Manhattan District Attorney, thank you again so much for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me. Good night. Of course. All right, more making the case after the break.